The following is a conversation with His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 20th of June, 1975, in Los Angeles, California. Dr. Judah has written a very nice book. I have read it. What? Dr. Judah's book. Oh, Dr. Yes, Judah. I have read it. Did you like that book? Oh, yeah. He's coming here in four days to see you. Yeah, that is very scholarly. And he has appreciated. I've met right. him many times. Every day we are performing the Who's festival. Kirtan. He's very young, uh, very yes, studied in Homeland, and he tell he is only surprised how these drug addicted hippies have become devoted. That is his He has mentioned that. That we appreciate our moment that we have turned so many drug addicted hippies into devotee of Krishna and in the service of humanity. That that I appreciate. And that is the fact. Jashasi Bhakti Bhagavati Akinjana Sarvai Gunai Tatra Samasati. If one is turned into devotee, then all the good qualities automatically become manifest. That is the verdict of Bhagavan. Harava Haktasya Kuto Mahadguna. Anyone who is not a devotee, this material qualification has no value. Manorathena sato dhavatu vahi is hovering over the mental plane. Therefore, in your country, Western country, the so-called big, big philosophers, scientists, they could not do anything tangible because they are hovering on the mental plane. Mono Rathena. Mono means mind, and Ratha means car. They are driving on the mental car. The mind is material. We are getting many new men. Now we have about 115 men. Uh, another bus? <laughs> yes, more, more and more buses. Yes. Your country is full of buses. <laughs> yes. That's when they say Jadachara. You are, your country is a motor car. But take advantage of motor car and utilize it for Krishna. That is the tactics. Not that, oh, we have become Vaishnava, who don't touch motor car. It is material. This is not our problem. Nidvandri, Krishna, Sambandri, Jitta, Vairāgya. We can utilize everything in relationship with Krishna. Because we see everything Krishna's. If the motor car is there, it is for Krishna. That is our mission. Paranda came there. Paranda came. Yes. So he said, I am again surrendered. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Uh, he has gone to Tehran? Yes. The letter just came from him recently saying that he was very enthusiastic in his service there. He is business-minded. Let him do business yes. for Krishna. He 
says there is so much money there, they don't know how to spend it. In Iran, people have so much money, they don't know what to do with it. Yeah. Yes, they're getting money for nothing. Yes, right. It's coming <laughs> out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> the Bengali said, Dulamati Bhatta Kori Muta. They are catching dust and it is turning into coin. Yes. Again, this proverb is there. Dhulamati Bhatta Kori Muta. He is thinking that I am taking some dust, but when it is in hand, it is coin. That is good time. And when it is bad time, you could catch coin, and when it is in your hand, it is dust. We should think that time may also come. Yes. Yeah. Because after all it is Krishna's desire, turn dust into coin, to turn coin into dust. So we should be always careful. If we remain Krishna conscious, then the coin will never turn into dust. Otherwise, it can be turned. So you American, you are now full of coins. Before turning it to dust, catch Krishna with the coin. It will never turn into dust. It will remain coin. Hmm? I am very hopeful of the Americans because you are so nice devotees. You can keep your country cornful, not dustful. India is giving up Krishna and therefore turning into dust. The whole thing is being done by the mercy of your books, Prabhupada. Well, it is not my book, it is Krishna's book. I am trying my best to present it as it is, that's all. That much you can say, <laughs> but there is nothing mine. The effect of these books is, is hard to perceive immediately because we can't imagine how so many millions of books have gone out. In the future they will all fructify as devotees, the people who are read. Yes. They will, and they will read. Get. Nowadays in the sixth canto, fourth chapter, the soul and how the soul is covered that is being described. Wonderful. Shimada Bhagavatam Mavalam Purana. Vidyan Chakri Sartata Sangha. It is written by the most learned Vaisdev, Vidwan, and Sartata Sangha. How merciful he was. He is still living, Vaisdev. He is still existing. Anatha Vasamam Sakshad Bhakti Yuga Madhukhaji. Lokasya ajanataha vidyan chakhe sātata. Do you remember this verse? It is the first canto. Mm-hmm. All right, so the soul has been embarrassed. The unnecessary things. Just like a man is within the huge garbage. What is his position? If if you have got your garbage car, within that a man is forced. Abominable. Abominable. It is like that. Twenty-four elements. Five material elements, three subtle elements, five working senses, and five uh, knowledge gathering senses. 
How old are you? Uh, 18. 18? Uh, no. So far. 23, gross. I think. So far. Five gross, anyway. Five senses. Five, senses. Uh, five uh, knowledge gathering senses. Right. And five um, uh, working senses. Right. Fifteen. The mind, ego, and mātātā, eighteen years. And then five sense objects, the roof, rās, form, taste, like that. Then twenty-three. Padāna. 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 And then the soul, twenty-five. Twenty-four and three gunas. Three gunas. Satarand, Rajagun, Tamal. Twenty-seven. So, twenty-seven layers of garbage. And then the soil. What he will do is a small particle soil, and he is covered with so many material elements. Come out of me is very, very difficult. But if one is engaged in devotional service, he can come out immediately. Just like when one is spiritually perfect, he goes immediately to Krishna, penetrating this material coverings of the universe. Immediately. That is spiritual force. Mancha Bhavicharin, Bhakti Yogina, Jasevat, Sagunana Samasitta Yitan, Brahma Guyaka. Have you received any news from Bombay? Yes, there's a letter, two letters from Gopal Krishna. Palika brought them. Come. So what is the position there? Well, she, I haven't read the letters yet, but she was saying that on the whole, mm. uh, Mr. Matri now is diminishing. Mm. They are, they have met with his superior in the party, mm. and the superior is very much, um, he's not happy with Mr. Matri's activities and his reputation, and he says that in, in the forthcoming election, he may not even put him on the election Ballot. That will be right punishment for him. Then he will understand. That will be more than death. Politicians, if they refuse political seat, that is more than death. Just like Krishna was advising of John that you are known as a great hero. And if you don't fight, then they will blaspheme you like anything. So that will be more than death, better die. When they will say, Nindanti, yeah, the Arjuna has become a coward. He could not fight, he went down. So that blaspheme will be more than death. So by the Grace of Krishna, it has come to the notice of the the other party members, the party superiors. They are his his reputation is damaging their party. Yeah, his activities are so unscrupulous. They're harassing us. So anyway, only in Bombay. That means if we become successful, finally it will be a tremendous success, I think. Yes. Something very big will happen there. Now our next attempt will be Kurukhetra. But Krishna personally spoke Bhagavad Gita. Recently I had been in Kurukhetra. Yes. You, you were, yes. yes. So I have decided to do something there. Because Krishna personally spoke there. Our two 
movement, we are preaching Krishna consciousness on the basis of Bhagavad Gita. And you are holding Rathajat. All these two incidences took place as Purukhet. Purukhetra is so important. Krishna Balaram and his sister on some occasion of lunar eclipse, they came from Dwarka in a chariot, Ratha, two brothers and sister. And that is the occasion of Ratha Yatra. The Vrindavan inhabitants, especially Radha Rani, they came from Vrindavan to see Krishna after a long time and pleaded that Krishna, you are the same Krishna, I am the same Radha Rani. But this place is not the proper place. And let us go to Vrindavan. Oh, that is Mahaprabhu's feeling. Yes. Yeah. You've expressed that in Madhya Lila. Hmm. That Mahaprabhu's feeling of Krishna is like that. That's why he took part in the Rathya Yatra hmm. and invited Krishna to come to Vrindavan. So these two important things took place in the uh, Kurukhyatra. So we must have a very big temple there and a Varnasana college. This is my desire. Krishna's direct instruction, Bhagavad Gita. It should be a, a historical, it is historical. People should come here as the most important historical. Place. And Gita is well known all over the world. Yeah. And Gita begins with the word Dharma Kshetra Kuru Kshetra. The Kuru Kshetra in that sense is very important. That was one of the first things you told us uh, when you came uh, that Kuru Kshetra is an actual place. There's a railway station, people can go there. Yeah. We had never known that. He thought it was something mythological. Very nice. They, they, political leaders, they have made it. Natural. I want to love somebody. It is not unnatural. When that love is reposed to Krishna, that is what The Mahabadi, they are frustrated. They, therefore they want to make this love into zero. They cannot understand Krishna's love with gopis. Oh. How are you? Are you good, Prabhu? How are you? You are looking better, brighter. When I saw you in Nivin now, last week. You have got so much talents for serving Krishna. Everyone has got it. That I am speaking. We have to do that. He's good typist, you know that? <laughs> I think he's the best of all of all men. He can type very swiftly and correctly. I think in our group, I give Prabhu and Shasaru Maharaj. Very good times. And Jayadvaita, I think you are also, no? Yes. You are good times. <laughs> <laughs> so why you have not published Bolimardhan's article? 
Lionel Mardon's article. Yes. We were waiting. We weren't sure if it, if it was appropriate to publish it. He, he thought disappointed. Uh, he has published. He has written very nice. He has written nicely. Yeah. We can publish it. So we should. Uh, we should. Uh, yes, here is it. What is that? Illusion and reality. Yes. Two essays. Yes, presented very nicely. So we should encourage our man. Publish it. Yeah. And our man, all our men should write. Otherwise, how we shall know that he has understood the philosophy? Writing means sabanam kīrtanam. Sabanam means hearing from the authority. And again repeating. This is our business. Sabanam kīrtanam Vishnu, about Vishnu, not for any politician or any other. Sabanam kīrtanam Vishnu, about Krishna or Vishnu. And that is success. Here and repeat. Here and repeat. You haven't got to manufacture. Any one of us, simply, if we reproduce the first part which I have given in Bhagavad Gita, we become a good speaker. So what I am doing? I am doing the same thing, writing the same thing, so that modern man can understand. Otherwise, we are repeating the same thing. They are repeating also the same thing, sense gratification. Punak punak charjita charbanana. But because that is material, they are not getting happiness. But the spiritual thing, we are chanting the same Hare Krishna simply, repeating, but we are getting transcendental bliss. What we are doing? Same Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. So process is the same, the subject matter is different. Tūrnam jate. We should try very fast before the next death comes. And death will come. So we shall prepare in such a way that before the next death comes over, we finish our Krishna consciousness business and go back to home back. Tattadeham punarjanvani. This is perfection. Because if we wait for another birth, maybe we may not get even Bharat Maharaj. He also slipped, he became a deer. So we should always keep vigilance. But we have got this opportunity, human form of life. Let us utilize it to the fullest extent and be fit for going back to home. That is intelligence. Not that all life I shall get again chance next month. That is not very good policy. Tūrnam. Tūrnam means uh, very hastily. Finish. Tūrnam jatita onamuttu patita jāvat. Then these people had wasting time, as if they will leave forever. <laughs> what is the use of this? Karasi. It is very popular in Mexico. Everywhere. With that method saved from death, when the death will come, with this sound, go. <laughs> we send them. This is foolishness. 
Krishna chanting Hare Krishna, then resounding some sound, thinking that this sound will say, this is called foolishness, mura. And if you ask them that why you are sounding so loudly, chant Hare Krishna, they love. <laughs> what did Bhakti Vinod Thakur mean when he said, I'm going my work unfinished? And Bhaktivinoda Thakur stated that he was leaving this planet with his work unfinished. Hmm. The latest finish. We are descendant of Bhaktivinoda Thakur. So he, he kept unfinished so that we shall get the chance to finish it. That is his mercy. He could have finished immediately. His Vaishnava is all powerful. But he gave us chance that you foolish people you are also what? That is his mercy. So we should pray to Bhaktivinoda Thakur that we are your grandchildren, great grandchildren. So we have got some right to beg some mercy from the grandchildren, get some indulgence from the grandfather. So I pray like that. It is Bhakti Nathabha, mercy. Vaishnava can, this Krishna doesn't require anyone's help. Still he's asking, surrender to him. He doesn't require anyone's surrender. But it is for him, good, one who surrenders. Not Krishna is in need of anyone's service. He is complete. But he comes as if he is in a helpless condition. That is for his good. One who is surrendered, he will get this. Krishna is self sufficient Similarly, Bhakti Thakur is self sufficient but if he says that I keeping unfinished, that means he gave us the chance, the opportunity. So we should always pray to Bhakti and Chattu to be merciful upon us so that we can execute his unfinished task. That should be all. Never you should think that what Bhakti Mantra could not finish. I am finished. Don't think like that. 